Hey everyone, let's solve the first question from today's weekly contest. That is number of unequal triplets in array. You are given a zero indexed array of positive integers nums and you have to find the number of triplets i, j, k uh, that meet the following conditions. That is i should be less than j should be less than k. Right? And nums i, nums j and nums k are pairwise distinct. Right? That means nums i should not be equal to nums j, nums i should not be equal to nums k and nums j should not be equal to nums k and we have to return the number of triplets that meet the conditions right so let's understand the question so basically in this question what we are given is we are given an array and inside of that array we have to calculate the triplets but the condition is that the triplets with i less than j less than k right these are the triplets that we have to take and and obviously i should be greater than uh, equal to zero and k should be less than equal to the size of the array let's call it n for now right and we have to calculate and we have to calculate the number of triplets right which are pairwise distinct right for example if we see this is a triplet right four comma four comma two right this is a triplet that also satisfies this condition but they are not pairwise distinct, right? 4 and 2 are different, but 4 and 4, these two are not different, right? So that means each of the elements, they, none of the elements should be equal to each other, right? So that is what we have to calculate. So in this array, in this array, let's see. So 4, 4, 2 is, is not a valid triplet, right? So then let's take 4 and let's not take this 4, right? Let's take the other element that is 2. All right. Let's take the next element that is 4. We cannot, we cannot take this, right? We can take 3. So this is a valid triplet, right? Now let's start from this 4, right? If we start from this 4 and if we again go to 2 and we again go to 3, then this is also a valid triplet, right? Notice that these two 4 these all four are different because they are at different positions, right? Now, if we see, if we start from 2 and 4 and 3. So, 2, 4, 3. This is also a valid triplet. So, we cannot find more than these three triplets. So, our answer in this case will be 3. So, we basically have to count the number of triplets that are pairwise distinct, right? So, how will we do that? So, basically, uh, it can be easily done using brute force approach. Right. So what we have to do is we will start our outer loop from i. Then inside that loop, we'll iterate for j, right? And then inside of this loop, we'll iterate for k, right? <clears throat> and inside of this loop, j should be equal to i plus one, and inside of this loop, k should be equal to j plus one, right? That's how we have to calculate. So let's see the code of it. So here's the code. So basically we have taken in C is equal to zero, right? The number of uh, triplets. And then we have our outer loop that goes from I less than equal to, and uh, obviously because I has to be, I has to be less than K. So if we want to form a triplet, I should stop at I minus two, right? We should not move further this point. Right. And similarly for J, we have another element um, next to J. So J should also run till J minus 1. Sorry, N minus 1 and N minus 2. Right. And K should run till N. Right. Because K can be the last element. J cannot be the last element. And also I cannot be the last element or second last element. Right. So that is why these conditions are here. Right. And then we have because j should be less uh, j should be greater than i and k should be greater than j so we have taken j is equal to i plus 1 and k is equal to j plus 1 and inside this we are checking if these are pairwise distinct then we are increasing our count and that is what we have returned 